like money. Uh, this is resilient cat. Uh, yeah, today I'll show you how to do uh, capture the the last promotion dates right using Power Query. And uh, so how to do that is that you create the so you load the data into the Power Query and then after that you right click you choose uh, reference. Basically, uh, have a reference to this table. That means that whatever we change in this, in this first table, uh, first query, this, this, this query will also change, right? So now I'm going to change this to uh, this, this call. Uh, it's called staff uh, resign date. Okay, so start resign date. Then the next thing is that I'm going to do a filter on this. Now do we know that the start is resigned because there is a remarks in this column reason. So we'll go to this one. And we'll just uh, uncheck the now. Okay, okay. So now we have only these two. Now we know that tomato, which is the last post is in the shop manager, potato is a club, right? Uh, resigned. Okay, that's great. Uh, we find that the the person should, uh, the date they resign. Okay, so then we can also change the header. Uh, this if you want to, I right, can change that to uh, resign date. Okay, I'm not going to do that here. So next one is that we have to know the get join date. So again, we want to based on this, right click, click reference, and then here we want to know. The first join date. So we just change to when is it that the, the date that the first join? Okay. First join date. Enter. So um, the first join date is basically oh, over here. Okay. And I'm going to group that tomato right? and look at the first join date is actually uh, the very first day. Okay. The, the date among these three. This is the Jumoto among these three. This is the first, this is the earliest date. Okay, this is the earliest date. So we can uh, do is that go to group by. Uh, what else? Uh, we group by something. And then here we choose the uh, minimum of the track date. And here we give a name called first join date. Click OK and there you are. We can find that the date to store the first joint that is this potential is this date. Okay, so now we have the last one, the next one. Okay, so you can say that uh, we can also use the same method to find the, the last promotion date. Okay, so next one is that. We're going to use the uh, something like a VLOOKUP to choose the we want to know the where is it that this staff uh, first join. Okay, so we have to get something from here. Tomato is this one, right? Uh, on the August, January, uh, August, 1st of August. And uh, Tomato uh, uh, resign on this on this day. Okay, so uh, this, the rest is here, is not needed. So we can right click. Hmm. And choose to remove the column. Uh, I think we said also not do that at the moment. Okay, so we have this data. So now we want to, based on this, right, we want to find the, the uh, another query. Okay, so we go to home, we go to the merge query. Now you have a merge, okay, we just choose merge query, right? That would be good. And uh, we go for the star first join date. Okay, so we use the left outer air all over the first. This is called the first, right? The top one is called the first. And then matching, if there's a match, we put it there. Okay, so click OK, that is called first match, matching second. So here we get the, the tomato, uh, the first joint day, and the potato, the first joint day. So we click on this, uncheck this, only having this, uncheck this, click OK. And that's it. So that is uh, complete the first join subject, right? Now, the next thing is that we want to determine is that the 
the number of days between these two, right? So we can adjust these two, right? And then we want to complete this one. So now I want to know the uh, data for date. Okay, how to use the date div, right? Now, uh, basically, you need to use this formula in Power Query. Uh, Power Query, you use the date of day here and so on, right? So we go to again go back to the Power Query, go to add column, cast column, and here, uh, months in service. Thanks for watching. God bless you. Jesus love you.